today we are in Blue Mountain Lake and we are at the Adirondack Experience Museum. First time here. First time ever, yeah. Drove past it a bunch of times, yep. but first time here. Yep, a common theme with us. We drive past a lot of places and then eventually <laughs> we, we get stop there. in. Yep. Um, so we're pretty excited. Um, they've got some pretty good exhibits here. Um, there's a little fire tower that we're going to go up. We're going to look at some of the history of the Adirondacks. Yep. Uh, it's 100 years of the Northville Placid Trail. Um, they have an exhibit for that. Um, an old steam train, it looked like. Mm -hmm. I think they've moved a couple cabins. Uh, the Anne La Bastille cabin is here. And then also a cabin of that Adirondack recluse. I forget his name. Um, <laughs> we'll find out eventually. <laughs> but his cabin is here also. Uh, so that should be pretty interesting. They've got yeah. a little cafe, like over 20 buildings, I think. Um, we're yep. probably not going to see everything today. Yep. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I, mean, I can't believe it either that we're finally here. It's, I know. It's been a long time. Yeah. We've got our member stickers. Yep. So yeah, if you ever come here, probably worth it to become a member. Definitely. You can go in more than once and it pretty much pays for itself. All right, let's All go right. start, take a look. Let's see what we see. Yep. It's an old sign. You want it? Typical fire tower style. Yeah. This one out a little bit more. Oh, yeah. I still almost bumped my head. Yeah. Oh, pretty nice. Oh, you can see as far as the parking garage over there. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good view. Yeah, it's a typical fire tower. Didn't so this... have to do all the work to get to the top of it. No, so this was the old White Face Mountain Fire Tower built in 1909 and uh, it was decommissioned and uh, brought over here for the Adirondack Experience. So you get a chance to climb up a fire tower while you're at the museum. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice because you don't have to climb the mountain first. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have a two or three mile hike. <laughs> it just says uh, fire tower, the second fire tower in the Adirondacks. Pretty cool. All right, let's check out the next spot. All right. So this is a green one. This, is a, this one you want to see. Ooh. This is like an original smoky. Right there. 1909. It's until 1972. All right. So, yes, that fire and tower. Came, came here in 1973. Wow. So it's been here a long time. Yeah. I didn't realize this museum's been here since 1973. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe before that. This was the Work in the Woods building and it showed the history of logging in the Adirondacks throughout the years. There were tons of old pieces of equipment. This was an old logging sled. Um, they had saws, they had chainsaws, they had little dioramas showing how logs would be moved down the river and you could press a button and hear information about it. Uh, this was an old Behringer brake which was used on dangerous hills. And then they even had an example of one outside in use. They had little areas for kids along the way. So this was an activity to stamp the wood like they would have done back in the day so they knew where it was going. And when we got to this horse, we realized we had gone through the building backwards. We're gonna follow this trail up. Coming up to Bull Cottage. I wonder if these were original to the museum here. We're gonna find out. Wow, $100. Yeah. They just reinterpreted a number of things in here, so we're really excited. So this was a cottage that was on the property originally when we um, acquired it as a museum. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, it was the owner of the property, the Merwins, uh, built cottages up this hill, including this one, and then sold them separately. So the, the first, second home, you know, tourist kind of situation. Yeah, back in the 1800s. Wow, it's a pretty nice, yeah, pretty nice cabin. Yeah. Huh. Good view right here. Yeah. Good view of the lake. All right, we've made it up to the bird pavilion. This is a great pavilion, yeah, wow. man, all of these buildings, yeah. old and new, are beautiful. 
But yeah, this is pretty neat. So what we found out, starting July 1st, there's a hiking trail right behind Bull Cottage. It's going to be like uh, three quarters of a mile long to a little uh, high, high peaks uh, lake up there that you can take a uh, wooden guide boat out on the, on the water to try out. We will be doing that. Yes, we will be doing that, but there's a new uh, exhibit yeah. coming up July 1st. Yeah. All right, we're heading to a little camp set up, and then we're going to go to Life in the Adirondacks, which I think is like the biggest exhibit. So we're heading uh, to camps right now. Looks like a pretty neat setup. That's a pretty cool boat. It reminds me of what you ride on the Jungle Cruise. Oh, yeah. At Disney. Someone left a dog. Oh, yep. Wow. This is pretty nice. Yeah. Living it up in this little tent. Yeah. You walk right down to the water. Yeah. Nice central view of things. It's really cute. Yeah. This is cool. They've got one of those pack baskets I'm desperate for. Oh, yeah. A miniature one. Oh, yeah, neat. Yeah, that's a really nice thing, too. Yeah. All right, shall we head to Life in the Adirondacks? Let's head to Life in the Adirondacks. I bet you in the summertime, people are all around this water just relaxing. Oh, I bet. It looks like a great place just to, you know, sit back, relax, enjoy the yeah. mountain air. I almost feel like I'm at a resort. <laughs> like, we could kind just of. go back to our room and then yep. come... Like a Disney resort? This is nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's entrance to Life in Adirondacks. We'll see what this is. I feel like I'm at, um, again, I feel like I'm at Disney. And we've just entered the Carousel of Progress. Yeah, so we're right here. Wilderness Stories. This building was all about Life in the Adirondacks and started with travel and how people used to get around up here. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, yeah. So look over. We did look around at the old cars and this really pretty painting on this wagon, but I was desperate to get on that train once I saw it. Wow, this, this train, wow. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is one heck of a train. Looking for comfort, luxurious camps, get there in style. This is not how we get up here. Not this much style. Wow. Oh, look at all. I mean, look at that. Yeah. It's like lighted glass, everything. Wow. Detailed woodwork. Look at these. Look at this woodwork. I know. It's crazy. Little like little balcony yeah. railings. Wow. Oh, a bathroom or something, huh? Well, no, it's a state room, or it's oh, a room. It? There's a bed over here. Oh, wow. So, oops. Must have been. Here's the little bathroom. Wow. That's little. You can oh, wash yeah. your hands while you go. Oh, that's pretty good. And a shower. So, it looks like everybody had a sink, maybe. No, that's good to clean up in. Yeah. Shaving cup. Wow. Gosh, like the curved walls. This is really Yeah, this is really well built. Oh, so you got a bunk and then you can sit underneath it. So this must mm -hmm. be the bunk closed up. Yep. Wow. Dining area. Yep. Yeah. A little drink car. This must be the kitchen. Yeah, well, they made everything. I can't imagine cooking for a train. Wow. That was really cool. <laughs> yeah, that train is. I really feel like I'm at Disney World right now. <laughs> I'm having a great time. So much to see. It's almost too much to take in sometimes. Yeah. You're gonna have to go several times. This is a portion of Anne LaBastille's cabin. She lived in the Adirondack Mountains for 40 years and wrote about her experiences in the Woods Woman series. She's worth looking up to find out more about. All right, have we entered the mines? Oh, oh yeah, look. Pretty neat. Oh, There's yeah. some yeah, garnet. That rock, yeah, that's a garnet rock. Yeah. We've done that. 
Okay. Here are some more hands-on activities for kids. They could look at stuff under a microscope, they could play a logging game where they got to pretend they were moving the logs down the river and had to break up log jams. And there was even a really cute little uh, place where they could pretend to be working in a mine and they could load the dynamite up in the rock wall and then push the plunger down to set off an explosion. Um, it was fun for adults too. It's a lot of dynamite. That's a lot of rock to blow up. That's one. Take cover. All right. We might have been pretty good miners. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that made it seem easy. Oh, wow. So this is cool. What are you doing? Pressing, oh, you can figure out where the lakes are. The Big Moose Lake right there in green. Long Lake right there. Yeah. If you're looking for Cranberry Lake, it's way over there. If you're looking for Tupper Lake, it's right there. This topographical map was just another example of one of the many interactive activities they have throughout the different buildings throughout the museum. There was also a really fun one where you could write a message onto a leaf and then send it out to a stream where it would float down. And there's our little leaf floating right past us. Well, that's the view right there. It's really nice. Yeah, it sure is. Blue Mountain Lake. All right, so that was like the fastest blow through living in the Adirondacks possible. Oh yeah, um, so much to see. I know. I do still want to see the old steam engine and there's that old boat that looks like it's from the Jungle Cruise. Yeah, we're, we can go there next. So we're gonna head there next. <laughs> Here we are at Woods and Waters. This is for the 100 years of the Northville Placid Trail. Let's go check out the exhibit. not make it to Sagamore for the pack basket weekend, but we can pretend yeah, to pretend make one to make here. One right there. All right, I finished mine. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, I finished it. Wow, you did it so fast. Yeah, wow. This building also had examples of things that you would have seen in the woods, such as campsites, uh, all the fishing and gear that hikers might have used and travelers might have used. If you remember the cabin that we saw in a different building uh, that belonged to Anne the Bastille, this was her travel pack and her dog's pack. And then we finally made it to the hermit hut of Noah John Rondeau. That's the man that I had called a uh, recluse earlier, but this was actually just one of the structures that he had on his property and it was moved here in the 50s. We still have not made it to the train in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to see. Yeah. I think this is the schoolhouse and cottage coming up here somewhere. Oh yeah, that looks like a schoolhouse down the lane here. It was the schoolhouse for Ohio, New York. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. wow. Kind of far to be bringing it all the way over here, huh? A little bit. This is the log hotel right here. And then what is this? I think that is the artisan cottage. Oh, okay. Sounds good. And then around the back side, it's the next, train. To, next to the water, yep. We're finally going to see this train. <laughs> We're heading that way right now. What a pretty, what a pretty spot to rest and relax on a day like this. I know, it's very beautiful. It's beautiful. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ooh. Wow. Oh, pretty neat. Yeah, not a lot of... You can blow the whistle or ring the bell. Yeah. There's the bell. Man, let me see what it's up to. Oh yeah, the bell. Go ahead, you can ring it. Okay, a little more. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All aboard! Oh wow, quite the steam engine. I mean, depending on the time of year, that would be a cold ride. Yeah. Probably a dirty one, too, if it was... Wood burning um, steam engine. Yeah. That's very cool. Built by Durant. Oh, really? Oh. Built by Durant. Wow. Boat was built by William Durant and was used to um, 
ferry people around the uh, lakes. Right from uh, Blue Mountain Lake, it said. Yeah. The Osprey. Yep. Back in the 50s, this boat actually was on the water, and I really wish that it was even just on a track and went around the water in a circle, just like the Jungle Cruise. All right, so we're going to head into the last little section here, the artist gallery. And this was like the world's fastest trip through this museum. <laughs> and was. we've been here for a few hours. Yeah. Um, but it's still like the fastest trip ever. <laughs> um, so we're going to see what this last building is all about. That's right. The art gallery was divided into four different areas. There was lights, forests, mountains, and water, and all of the artwork was absolutely stunning. They had works that were over 100 years old and some that were just a few years old. It was really incredible to see everything. They also had different hands-on activities for kids within the galleries, which was nice to see. And when you exited the art gallery, you, you can enter an art studio, and they had a ton of art activities for kids to do hands-on art. It's true for all the buildings, but this was another that you could have spent your whole trip in. All right, we are going to call it a day. Uh, we didn't make it to see the boats. I mean, we didn't see a lot. <laughs> It's almost too much. It was really nice here. Um, nice to come on a not super busy day. Yeah, a really cool place. I had no idea. It's been open since 1957. Yeah, it's been a long time. Wow. And it keeps getting bigger all the time. Definitely worthwhile to check out if you're in Blue Mountain Lake. Super cool. Yep. So much to see, so much history. <laughs> there is. Stuff you, didn't even, stuff you didn't even know about or heard of. All right, I can't wait to come back. Yeah, till next time. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And, and we'll, we'll see you on, on the, the trails. trails.